Hi friends, welcome back. Um, the beaded part measures about 8 inches. So we need 10 more inches with um, chain. And then I have my um, crimp tubes and some chain. This also I got from beadboxbargains.com. And... Uh, now what I'm going to do is I have here a toggle clasp as well and we need some jump rings as well. To finish off our project and first of all we'll take our crimp beads. These are crimp tubes. The Petalon Company crimps are very good. These ones doesn't have a name, but it works as well. So all I'm going to do is, I'm going to measure 10 inches because 8 inches we already have here. I don't want the necklace to be more than 18 inches because I don't want it to fall down around my neck. I want it to close to my neck so I measured 10 inches because anyways it's going to be a little bit more than that because we are going to add a clasp and everything so a little bit less than 10 inches you can do any inches you want if you want a longer one you can do it but for this design I think the shorter one will look pretty So here is my chain and I'm going to cut this chain in half as well. I have here about 10 inches and I'm going to cut this chain in half. So I'll cut it over here or over here. Okay, there we go. And we shall take this uh, bead stopper, put in our crimp bead, and add one end of the chain. Come back through the crimp tube or the crimp bead. And couple of beads if possible. It's not going in. That's okay. Take the needle nose pliers and pull that. Then go ahead and position your bead, crimp bead, crimp tube and flatten it out. Then snip off the excess wire all the way and we are done here. So now slide all the beads this side and try to squeeze in the bead and then take off your bead stopper put in your crimp bead and take the other piece of the chain put inside come back
I should have cut a little bit more slack on the wire for myself. It was perfect for that end. But this end I'm just struggling to put it back in. So always take a little bit more wire than needed. It always comes in handy. So check whether everything is okay. And then go ahead and crimp the tube. Nice and tight. And snip off this excess wire right at where you want it. And so that it's seamless and it looks really nice. And now all we need to do is attach our uh, toggle clasp to the ends. And we are done. <coughs> Excuse me. So I have here some jump rings. So I'm opening up the jump ring putting my that my toggle clasp inside the jump ring and one end of the chain take another needle nose pliers and close the jump ring for added security I am putting one more jump ring And then my toggle clasp. It's not necessary, but these jump rings are thinner, so I just want a little bit more security there. Opening up the jump ring, adding in the other end of the toggle clasp, and in the chain and closing the jump ring shut one more jump ring and we are all done so So that's it. Our necklace is done. So here is our necklace with our toggle clasp. As you can see, a very pretty design has come out of this uh, bargain bead box uh, monthly subscription December box. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon for notifications. And we shall make the earrings in the next video for match a matching earring for this necklace. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.